Despite all the difficulties, there's a group of doctors in the U.S. and abroad who have been advancing the research on the medical use of cannabis with highly impressive and sometimes revolutionary discoveries. In a scholarly cancer review article published in 2009, there were over 421 chemical compounds identified in the cannabis plant. And within this group of natural substances, there are many chemicals that have significant anti-tumor properties at low enough doses to where they would be effective cancer treatments. That's, that's an important part of this. Is it's one thing to be able to kill a cancer cell, but could you really survive, survive such a treatment? There's a wealth of laboratory evidence that these anti-tumor properties kill cancer cells in a variety of ways. There are multiple mechanisms of action identified by which cannabis kills cancer cells. And they're divided into various categories. And among these are anti-proliferative effects, Normally, that's, that's one of the hallmarks of a cancer cell, is that it just keeps reproducing. So if you stop the reproduction, that's an anti-proliferative effect. There are anti-angiogenesis effects, and this means that the cannabinoids will stop the tumor from being able to elaborate or grow new blood vessels to support the growth of the tumor. There are anti-metastatic effects, and that is simple enough to mean that the cannabinoids block the ability of the cancer cells to spread into other tissues. And there's another uh, effect that has a wild name, apoptotic effect. Apoptosis refers to the ability of cannabinoids to speed the death of the abnormal cells. And that's something that is is especially important in cancer because you're you're able to hasten the death of the cell without disturbing the normal cells around it. Probably one of the most fascinating ca uh, cases is a gentleman with the glioblastoma multiforme brain tumor. Very deadly tumor. This tumor from diagnosis, untreated, the average survival is just three months. Fully treated with radiation surgery and chemotherapy is about 12 months. So this gentleman is a middle-aged man who began using cannabis at the time of his diagnosis. He's been very consistent in using cannabis on a daily, multiple-time daily basis now for seven years without any signs of recurrence.